Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, 60th episode of Unbox Coffee Break. Tonight is going to be in English and um, it's, it's to answer questions from you. Unbox Coffee Break, one minute. I'm I'm going to pin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the uh, 60th episode of Unbox Coffee Break. Tonight is going to be in English, and um, it's it's to answer questions from you. Unbox Coffee Break. One minute. I'm going to pin. Oh, fantastic. Hi, Allah. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Um, so tonight is about asking questions. You can come live. I think I have my VPN on. Um, I don't need to see you, but if you want to unbox and show up and ask questions, we can certainly do that. I don't have a special topic in mind. I just noticed that a lot of people have a lot of problems. And sometimes there are very similar problems. So if you have anything in mind, whether it's about starting our last quarter of 2020, <laughs> September, new moon, full moon, sorry, um, all of that. Okay. You really want to come online, Randa? That would be amazing. I am ready if you are. Let's see if Randa wants to come online. Let me know where you're watching from. And... Um, Question, come on. United Arab Emirates, you need to have your VPN on, otherwise you can't come live. Um, so, I'm all ready. I don't have an agenda. I have my barley coffee, iced coffee. Welcome everyone. I can see a few um, new faces, so I'm really grateful that you're joining. Unbox Coffee Break is about a chat that we're having to help you solve your problems, come out of any obstacles, unbox any obstacles that are holding you back. This is kind of a special time because um, children went back to school and somehow the start of the school new year, in our minds, it's kind of like a start of a new year. So we're almost there. Um, three, four months to go, and um, hey, hi, and then it will be the new year. I'm not going to say anything about the new year, because <laughs> this one has been enough to deal with. Hey, Myra, but um, come on, give me questions. Let me know what's on your mind. What do you want to have unboxed? A lot of people ask me, what is unbox? Unbox mentoring is very different from life coaching. Um, I was a life coach. I did life coaching. I was also a professional intuitive. I am a healer. I studied holistic therapy. So Unbox is the culmination of all of my experiences, really. And I work in an intuitive, maybe unique or different way. So it's not your regular life coaching. I've went through a lot in my life. And um, I don't want to say that I found a shortcut, but I find out what works because after my clients, and this is going back to the days when mentoring or coaching was one to, one to session. So please let me help you. I want to help you. Um, I recognize that especially here in the Middle East, maybe we don't have a lot of help, although things are changing. There are fantastic life coaches in the Emirates. Um, I've met quite a few really amazing people. And uh, hi, Madeline. So give me a question. Are you all happy with your lives? What can you improve in your life? What do you seem to be stuck on? What issue is bugging you the most? Or maybe you have tried, but you haven't reached an answer or you haven't solved it completely. So let me know what's on your mind, guys. Come on, be brave. <laughs> Hi, Asma. So tonight is live Q&A. 
I would like questions. You've got a sticker. You can tell me what your question is. You can text it. Um, don't put it in the chat because it's sometimes it's a little bit difficult to see in the chat. Use the sticker or if you want to come live and if you're in the Emirates, you need to have your VPN on. questions so I'm asking what questions do you have what issues are you facing that you feel you cannot unblock on your own and I've spoken a little bit about how unbox mentoring is quite different because I look at the person holistically we deal with the body that is the pyramid of awareness how you can grow and develop so we start we look at the physical body we bring it into alignment with your emotions, family interference, in what way? That family keep interfering in your affairs? <laughs> I assume because like we inherit this in the Middle East. So this is not a unique problem, but a very good question. But let me know so I can kind of talk about it specifically. Is that what you have on mind, in mind? I think when we have people who are close to us, part of caring gets distorted and is interpreted okay great and it's interpreted into interfering and i think you need to be very careful because sometimes it is actually just interfering disguised as love and i care for you and just today i was telling a client that we are the only mammals okay put your question in the sticker so that i don't miss it highly um so that um we are the only mammals who do not disconnect the umbilical cord all mammals prepare their youth, their young, to be independent, to fend for themselves, to go out and get resources by themselves, except human beings. And especially in the Middle East, but really East, you know, also the Far East, there's quite a lot of that. And if we move to the south of the Mediterranean, it's the same, you ask any Italian. Um, why do we do that? We want to express love, but we do it in a way that actually, we don't know how to get that, we don't know how to express love. We don't know how to get the results that we want, so we interfere. This is them. But the unbox policy and my personal policy is let people drive any way they want to drive, but you are responsible for how you drive. So a lot of times we worry about the other quite a lot when we need to ask ourselves, what do I need to do or how do I need to be so that people stop interfering? And from my experience, if you allow people to interfere, that means your boundaries are not uh, clear or maybe there are no boundaries at all. And because of that love that you need or maybe the validation from the family that you need, you leave through windows open. So the family can come in or close friends can come in and be judgmental and interfere too much. So forget about them, but ask yourself, how are you driving your car, your ship in life? Drive it safely if the doors are unlocked or the windows are open, then you need to close them. And the easiest way is to say, thank you, but this is my affair. Or thank you, but I didn't ask for your advice. Or thank you, but this is my life and don't interfere. Sometimes we are afraid to say these words, but they actually do work because they shock the people. You know, they're not expecting them. Um, they're not expecting you to say, you know, firmly, assertively, this is not your business. So you need to say these words or write them down. You need to look at yourself and see if you've got any boundaries which are unmarked, you know, that you leave wide open for people to interfere. The third point is sometimes when we are uncertain ourselves, we're unsure of who we are, what we are doing, what's going on in our life. That kind of gives off a vibe of, you know, help me, I'm desperate. And this is when close family kind of pick up on that. They feel your pain. They feel your confusion. They don't know what to do except to do what they have been doing, which seemed to have worked. So if they have been emotionally blackmailing you and interfering, they will continue to do that because it has been working. So, you know, look at your patterns, but also ask yourself, you know, am I asking for validation? I am uncertain about what I'm doing. Is that why the windows are open and people are interfering? So look at these three points and remember, you are in charge, you are driving, you need to mark your boundaries. And thirdly, if you are in doubt, maybe this doubt is giving off the vibe that I need help, I need somebody to interfere and let me know what I'm doing. 
I hope that has helped. Thank you, everybody who have just joined. Um, I'm going to go back, but please use the stickers if you've got any questions. Tonight is live q and I hope you have issues to unbox so we can do them together. Okay, so um, Ar Khalil says, I lost my job recently. I feel I couldn't enjoy my days or life in general. I feel down and distracted. Yes, I completely relate because I had an amazing part-time job that I loved and it was interrupted suddenly for different reasons. And I truly went through withdrawal symptoms. What I've learned from that is sometimes when you give work or one aspect of your life, whatever it is, sometimes married women with children tend to do that. They tend to focus on the children, ignore the partner and ignore themselves. In your case, this is, I'm just going by what I feel and what you've said. Maybe the work, the job had too much value in your life where you have ignored other values. So this is kind of um, if life was a tabletop and you just have one leg. And if you lost that leg, then the tabletop crashes and there is no life. So that tells me something is out of balance. To have a balanced life, roughly, we can say, I can say, for example, that you have five aspects. So there is your love life, family life, uh, health and fitness, uh, financial affairs or financial independence or abundance, um, spiritual aspect. It could be um, the dimension health and fitness, you know, friends. There are different aspects. If uh, hobbies are very important, the creative element is extremely important because the creative element is what allows you to get inspired, what opens up new avenues. You meet new people, you connect, you find out what your true expression is. So by focusing too much on work, you've given it too much value. So in your mind, I exist to work. And if that work goes, if that job goes, therefore my life isn't worth living. Which if you think about it calmly and logically, it's not really true. <laughs> that is what you do to pay the bills. And if it was a job that you really enjoyed, then you know, kudos to you, because that's very rare. And if it's not, and if it's gone, it could also be part of a trend that I see where people are really moving to uh, starting their own business or learning new skills that are now employable, namely technology, online, anything that is connected with online, obviously. I mean, it has been sped up by COVID, but the trend has started earlier from before. So I would ask myself, how can I bring my life back into balance? What do I need to do? What do I need to be? I need to be happier. <laughs> Therefore, I need to add more legs to the tabletop so that if one leg cracks, um, then my tabletop doesn't go under. Does that help? Let me know, guys. Give me hearts, thumbs up so that I know you can hear me well, see me well. Hi, Reem. Good to see you. Hey, Rula. Good to see you. Huda. Oh, lovely. Okay. I'm just going through the text here. Okay, so we've got work, we've got family interference that we have dealt with. So we've spoken about boundaries and then we spoke about having different things, different aspects or defining them or even becoming aware, you know, what is my life about? And certainly our life is not about a job. Thank you. Our lives are not about a job because if that job goes and a lot of people lost their jobs recently. But I can tell you honestly, from my days when I started in 92, when I was a professional intuitive, I could really see having, you know, meeting with people from all walks of life. I could see those trends building up. You know, first it was getting people into the right job. And then a few years later, it was, you know, making sure that they've expressed their talents. And then later it was, okay, could they start, a, you know, a sidekick, a side hustle or not? So there has been a trend towards expressing individually who we are individually what are we good at individually what are we passionate about i mean i feel so blessed that for the last 30 years or so i did not have to leave home and go for a job because i really enjoyed working from home and i wanted to do my own thing i did not know what my own thing did was but i did several things and each step you know these lights that come on only after you've taken a step my life has been like that I take one step, the lights come on, then I know what the next step is, the lights come on, I take a step. And so I didn't really know where I was going. And this is something else that you mustn't think just because the job changed or circumstances changed, that life is dim, 
you know, there's nothing to do. Uh, most, mostly, it's life is showing us how to uh, adapt, transform, not transform, transmute is the word I'm looking for, to transmute what we're going to into a force of positive change instead of spiraling down. Hello everyone, thank you. I welcome new followers. Um, really nice to have you. Tonight is about question and answer. It's a Q&A. Oh, okay. Is it a request or a question? No, it's a request. Do you want to come on live? A lot of people click on coming live as soon as they see the Instagram thing come up. So I'm asking you if you want to come on camera um, and share your issue, we can unbox it together. If you have a question, something that you have been confused, you lack clarity, you've tried everything, it doesn't seem to work, please share it now. And um, I'm here for a few more minutes to talk about whatever problems that you're having. This is delicious. Hey, Madeline, thank you for showing up. For joining, I should say. Okay, I assume this is Muhammad. Muhammad, do you want to come on live? Have you got an issue to share or a problem to share? Any more questions from anyone? Any issues that you are facing? Otherwise, I trust that you are well. And I will see you next week if there are no more questions. All right, guys. So I think we're all gone. I'll see you next week. And thank you for joining me today. Oh, you're coming back. Okay, questions, people. Use the sticker or write a comment. We've got a few more minutes. And I'm really, really happy to help if anyone is stuck and doesn't know how to solve a problem. Did that help, Rana, what I said before? About losing your job? Let me know. And as you know, if you fill the online assessment, you get your complimentary discovery consultation, absolutely free. When you fill a copy, I will get one automatically and I will contact you and then we can meet on Zoom. For the first session, it's really important for me to see you at least for five minutes so we can kind of make a connection, see if we are a fit, if we get on. But after that, um, you don't have to be online all the time. It depends on the session, really. But I like to see people that I work with because then I can gauge the response and I can gauge what tools I need to be using. All right, folks, so we're keeping it, thank you. <laughs> we're keeping it short tonight. I hope that was useful. If you have any questions, hi, Huda, lovely to see you. Let me know, direct message me or leave a comment. Take care, stay well, and I'll see you soon.